favorite chefs. Wes Stepp is in the kitchen today from Red Sky Cafe. They've come all the way up from Duck, North Carolina. You look like you swam here. You look, yeah. like, <laughs> you look like you just pulled yourself right up out of the sink like a Navy SEAL or something in your athletic garb. Extreme cooking, Carrie. I wish you'd start working out. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it is great. Hey, um, I'm ending the, uh, the year with you here today. I'm really That's happy. Right. All right, so new, happy new year. Happy new year. New year's coming up. It and uh, I created a whole new menu for New Year's Eve, a special menu for New Year's Eve. Okay. We're going to do a couple of the dishes off of it today. We're going to have a blast from the past with the shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a little pork tenderloin marsala because I know you really like that. I really do. I love the marsala. And I knew that you were going to make more than one thing because Chef West Step has been on the Hampton Road Show a lot which is why, number one, I pick on them. And uh, why, number two, I knew you were going to make more than one thing because you always knock it out. We're going to start cooking in just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, man. I like the suggestion of uh, cooking chitlins. <laughs> Has it ever been done? Uh, I don't think Not so. yet, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, so there's about. always a new year. Would you do that? Could you do that? <laughs> Have you done that? I could research I that. I don't mean to be making this face because it <laughs> seems like I'm judging. About the chitlins? Chitlins. We can try that, you know, but I, I like to do stuff with seafood more because I'm from the Outer Banks and... God, it would be easy after that segment, that right you know me. what I mean? Oh my, I know, they were exhausting. We were all tired after that, but that was, that was very fun. All right, getting back to what we are making today, you're making a... Pork tenderloin, pork tenderloin with a marsala salad. wine sauce. Okay. And one thing I like to do is I like to show people, you know, this fancy cooking you get in restaurants and stuff like that. This is really pretty quick and pretty simple, as long as you're prepped up and ready to go. Okay. And um, I like to make stuff that people can make at home. Mm -hmm. So I can come in here and impress you with all this stuff but i was hoping to just kind of keep it simple so pork tenderloin is we'll really still be impressed oh i appreciate it pork tenderloin is really you know pretty popular this time of year pork tenderloin is also healthy we're at the end of the old year and the resolutions are right around the corner and yes. that's what i look like a navy seal coming in because we're going to do some healthy cooking i know you put your month. jacket on because i was teasing you you got a little self -conscious. yeah yeah you really kind of kind of hurt my feelings there just a little <laughs> bit but I doubt it. i'm going to make it so basically, we got pork tenderloin, and what I did was I used the back of my hand and pressed it out. I okay. put it with a little bit of dressing, a little bit of flour, and everything I do is like pan sauteed, except for when me and Chris worked together, and I used the oven a little bit right. last time. But um, we've got some porcini mushrooms, mm -hmm. porcini mushrooms, um, wild mushrooms. Basically, you can use any kind of mushrooms you want. Okay. Because the trick is the wine, right, for marsala. Yes, and the big deal here is. Basically, I'm just giving you the basics, and you can do whatever you want with your family at home. Okay. You know what I mean? If you got regular silver dollar mushrooms or whatever. Okay. So, we got our pan hot. Look at that. Browns right up. Mm -hmm. Takes about a minute, minute and a half. Now, let's make sure I don't burn myself. Or me. Or you. Especially you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. We got a fire. Okay. So Everything is under control. Everything is under control. Stephanie's a little worried over there. We got a little bit of kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm putting a little bit of the sweet red peppers in there, give it a little color. Now, basically what this is, is just a little bit of beef consomme. I thickened it down because of the flour that's in with the, that I dredged the pork in. Yeah. Nice little sauce. Can you buy that? Can you, you can buy a beef consomme like it. Oh, yeah. You find that around the soup or something in you the can, store if you weren't going to Exactly. Gonna make it. And okay. you don't want to, you know, making it, that's going to, put a lot of time into your time. dish. We're trying to make this stuff quick so you can make it at home and you work all day, you get up early in the morning and yeah, I know. It's, it's, tough, it's horrible, Wes. I did it with a little whole wheat pasta and uh, basically because we are just starting to end it up for the year. We talked, we discussed the new we year discussed the resolutions new year. to be a little bit healthier. Some of the, you know, some of those whole wheat pastas are on, or the low carb pastas on the market now, they're pretty good. They fool me. They're not bad. And, you know, one thing is, is I like to cook them a little bit more because a lot of times they're just a little bit al dente for yeah. people, you know, they're a little tough and you got to fight them a little bit. And then basically we're going to plate this thing up. And like I always say, the first bite's taken with your eyes. And I've uh, already taken three. And we want to make it look good. We want to make it taste good. All right. Up next, shrimp and grits. What a morning. We got a lot to do. Plenty of time now. Right now, we're going to go back to Ariane and Chris. The look. Do it, Carrie. There you go, Carrie. Carrie. I couldn't do that again if I tried. You know? You I just really did. Did. I don't know. I don't know. But that was not too, not too far away from where you are down there in no. Carolina along the Outer Banks. About Man, five I miles. Mean, Boy, that was a tough time, but yes, we appreciate it. There was a lot of that. people decompressing during that time period yes. there as well. Yes. Yes. Do you know what we mean by decompressing? Yes. Yes. And yes, you kind of make that look when I walk in sometimes. I don't know. It kind of makes me nervous. I guess that's a bad rap. I was concerned for his safety. 
It was pretty dangerous down there. I was there. I stayed for the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of, you know, when you chill, when you're around it all the time, it's like uh, a lot of businesses or some businesses stay open and um, mostly it's news crews that come through. Yeah. Well, you can count on that. You can count on us going down there. All right. The storm has passed. Now you're just cooking up a storm here in the kitchen. You I'm already made the marsala and now shrimp and grits. Right. And what I've done is I've simmered down the shrimp and a little bit of bacon. Okay. Okay. Shrimp and grits is probably, I've done it before on the show, but it's probably the one of the most requested menu items that we have on our menu and it's also the most requested recipe now over here do you like grits Carrie? i do oh well that's good um grits is not just breakfast food anymore so basically what i've done is i've used stone ground grits mm -hmm. and i've cooked them down with a little bit of chicken stock which is sort of a neutral stock mm -hmm. and then i also instead of just like the water or whatever and they're kind of bland i put some spices in there garlic a little bit of uh crushed red pepper and then i melt it in with a little bit of asiago cheese mm -hmm. and heavy cream now that's the exact same way you kind of make an arburo, which is risotto. Mm -hmm. So what I call it is redneck risotto. I know you call it that. I was going to let you call it that, so nope. I don't get in trouble. Well, the reason the reason I call it that is because we had a lot of people from the north come down, you know, in the summertime yeah. and visit us. And I'd put uh, cheese Asiago cheese grits on the menu. They continually asked for potatoes or whatever, so it was constantly getting replaced because yeah. they didn't want to try them. So I said, same recipe, change the name, mm -hmm. and they see risotto. And they'd order it and they'd go, this is the best risotto yeah. we ever had. Well, I mean, I'm it's from grits. Massachusetts. I don't know if you knew that, but I'm originally from the Northeast. And I mean, we, don't, we just never never had grits until you, you know, came to Virginia. I, we do them a lot on caterings. What I'll do is the same shrimp and grit. You know, you've been to parties and stuff where they have pasta stations and everything. Yeah. Well, on catering, since you're having it down south, I do a shrimp and grit station. So we do the redneck risotto. And what I basically do is just exactly what I just did, except we have it all set up just like we do at your studio on the table. Mm -hmm. So the brides, especially if they're from the north, it's something they go home and really talk about. Yeah. And then, you know, I mean, people, I'm sure, want to make it. And I should have mentioned that we will put the ingredients, the recipe, and the how-to at thehamptonroadshow.com in case folks do want to try to make this. But they have another option. Aside from taking this recipe and trying it at home or coming into Red Sky Cafe, you'll go into someone's home and cook for them, too, if they're having a special occasion, right? You better believe it. If you come down with your family or something and you don't want to fight going out, you got the kids, whatever the yeah. reason is, or you just want to sit at home and decompress and not worry about driving, you call me. I come in, I bring in the crew, I bring in the waitress, the server, and myself, and I cook everything right in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of a cool way to have a night out. It's a good point because you get a lot of families down there in Carolina that are having these big family reunions in these huge houses. And what are you, I mean, it's not easy to take a party of, you know, 23 out to dinner. It's, it's almost not easy impossible. to cook for that many people too without, you know, a couple pe people being completely removed from the social scene. And basically we do everything. We come in, we set up the kitchen. You don't have to do anything to prep for us. We cook everything in the kitchen. We cook it all. It's all served hot. Then we clean everything up and we're out of there. Like we're elves. Like, like ninjas. <laughs> like ninjas. Ninja. Like cooking ninja elves. All right. Now, this week, there's a lot of people down. A lot of people from this area are down visiting their homes that they rent out during the season. Yeah. A lot of people are bringing in the new year on the Outer Banks. Come by Red Sky Cafe. I created a whole new menu for that evening. Uh, call for reservations. You can ask for myself or my general manager, Jen. Okay. And um, please, come on in. Check us out. All right. Have a fun New Year's Eve at the Red Sky Cafe. These items will both be on the menu, I take it? You got it. Okay. All right. We're